When's the last time you hit two home runs in a ball game? It's my first time. <laughs> well, how does it feel for the first time then? It feels great. I mean, it's just, especially in a game like that against LSU, um, it, was, it, felt, it felt really good. I believe it was you at the plate in the first inning, kind of a borderline strike call and things. And to, and to I guess, come back and, and answer that with a couple of homers and things, I, I just the, the focus, I guess, it takes to maintain and come back and do that and things. Did, were, were you kind of, I guess, perturbed after that first call and, and to come back and you know do it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I had that ball on the white line and that um, told me that he kind of had it off a little bit too. And I was kind of annoyed by that because it wasn't a strike. So I knew coming – and my next at bat with two strikes, I got to protect in because he's given that to him. But I also got to protect the slider away, and so he gave me that fastball high end. So, put a good swing on it. So he came back with essentially the same pitch. Same pitch. I just didn't know where it was going to be. I just reacted to it. Did you know it was out off the bat? Yeah, I, I squared that thing up. <laughs> <laughs> I squared it up. What about the second one? Uh, yeah, you know, I really didn't know right off the bat if it was gone. I got it off the end, and I didn't really know. Phil's going to get out of here because it's such a big park, so I just didn't know. You know do you think uh, watching McNamee hit the, the bomb right in front of you? Well, I told him. I, he told me he was going to cheat to one. I said, don't don't cheat with your upper upper half. I said, cheat with your timing. So we got got up in the count 2-0, and I said, here's your pitch right here. So he put a good swing on it. it uh, I don't know. Did that ball leave out, out of the park? We think, think so. so. Yeah. I mean, that was a bomb, so I'm, I'm happy for that. <laughs> Is it kind of a shock to you to, to look up and scoreboard and see that you got nine homers a little over a month no. into the year now? No, it's not a shock. I'm supposed to be doing this. So. Let's talk about making that lead hold up kind of the hard way, but you know, with, yeah. the, with enough, you scratched in enough really pitching, made the plays, and held on to lead. Yeah, we barely hung on there. I mean, they, they put some good hits together, um, and that's what these SEC games are all about is who can – made the last play. Uh, I think we, Gordy did a great job in the ninth, made mm -hmm. some good pitches, so they couldn't put any good swings on them. So it was good for him. How resilient is this team? Because there was a chance, you know, you know how good LSU can be, and then the plate's set for them, but you don't let them take the game away. Yeah, I mean, this team is very resilient. Um, been through a lot the last two years, a bunch of leaders on the group. I mean, we know how to come back from games. We know how to get hot in games. and keep the lead, but we, I mean, this team has the most important thing is we got toughness, and we know it's not over till um, the last out's made, so, I mean, yeah, this group, this bunch is very resilient. What do you think's the biggest growth for you as a hitter over the last year or so? I think just utilizing my power. I think last year I didn't utilize it enough like I should have. Um, I was missing pitches. Um, this year I'm not missing pitches, and that's what I worked on in the fall and the spring. Is when I when they make a mistake, I'm I better hit it, or I'm not going to get another one. What goes into fixing that? Is it just squaring stuff up better, something with the motion, or anything like that? Um, I, you know, I, what I worked on with my was my separation more, so I go more directly to the ball. I think my bat plane is flattened out a little bit instead of um, slicing it a little bit. So um, I guess that's a little bit of it, but I guess just being ready. I think my mindset this year is just, it's coming, you better not miss it. So that's been basically it. Is it helping that they know that Mac can be ahead of you and Skelton behind you have proven they can take balls out too? Yeah, I mean, it's, this lineup's deadly one through nine. I just don't, I don't understand how you can pitch to us. I don't know how, I don't understand how you can pitch around us. You know what I'm saying? You can't pitch around me because you got Skelton behind me. You can't pitch around Mac because I'm right behind him. I mean, and then the three guys ahead of Mac, I mean, you're not going to pitch around them because. It's one through nine, it's, it's deadly, it's, it's not easy.